Following order. everyone to the north and south mod for Napoleon Total War. I'm Snowhood. We're checking out a battle that I played earlier on the Shiloh map here. I played as the Confederates. As you can see, I'm moving my forces forward and I do go through an elaborate use of the roads. Um, it's going to be kind of cool. I kind of get bunched up in some of the spots, but I think overall I'll have some cool shots there. Uh, we have some cannons, some Washington's artillery, and some Richmond howitzers to go with our, our little army here. And then over here we've got, uh, let's see, I'm first, what am I, yeah, first core, and then here is second core, and uh, the old AI is taking control of these guys here as they march forward in a very bunched, but uh, uh, not calm, right? You know, kind of walking in a line, bunched lines there, as they walk through the forest, they are the left flank. Um, so the Battle of Shiloh, the Confederates attack the Union, which is what I'm trying to go for here as we move across the map and attack the Union position. Uh, the armies are actually just about dead even, and I think at about 3,600 apiece. Um, mine split over the two here to mimic a left and right flank, and uh, just kind of add some spice to the, the battle. Uh, we're not going to be able to see much of the Union until they get closer into position. Uh, which is one of the cool features for this mod, as you can hide your units at range and, uh, you know, use that to your ability. Now, of course, your generals are always out and about. Not good as Rome 2 and Attila, which do remove your generals. Um, you know, you can hide them. But yeah, so we're going to get back over here as uh, I decided to double quick my artillery to a forward position, which is uh here or up here I can't remember where I decided but one of these nice openings here meanwhile skirmishers are still pushing forward as would be in any case making sure there is no enemy in the forest before the main body of the army uses these beautiful roads to march through town Not really town I guess this guy's freaking farm here uh, here's some of the traffic jamming I'm talking about I really just um, was trying to use all the turns in the road as well. Um, this really kind of, this became a bit too much as I was actually watching a lot of this myself and doing it, but uh, I figure this is pretty cool. These guys are marching through the forest on my right flank. Um, they will actually start to utilize the roads in front of them, but as would any army, its original position would have stretched over a long position back here in an encampment with forward positions to defend this encampment, and the soldiers would then march forth from their encampment to their battlefields to fight upon. But, uh, so that is to mimic my stretched out forces to be coming in from multiple ranges and then still use, <laughs> utilizing the awesome awesome dirt pathing and road uh, set up for this map of Shiloh. Um, which as you can see is quite a big map. Uh, and as the other army here marches across uh, mostly forest until they hit some of this open territory. The nice river over here. Mighty fine river indeed. A um, couple forward crossings in case you wanted to throw units out here to hide. I suspect that would be possible. Maybe you could come over here and deploy your cannons. Um, I don't know why, but just in case you wanted to. Uh, you cannot cross these bits, of course. But just some cool layout and texturing for the map. Um, these random house structures. And the beautiful forest. Uh, this battle, um, I don't know how much anyone knows really about this battle, um, I could know a lot more, I wish, but it is one of the bloodier battles for the Civil War. Um, definitely a bloody one. Uh, the Union Army was in control by Grant, and let's see, the Southern Army was controlling this one. Name escapes me right now, actually. I don't remember. Um, but it was an offensive maneuver by the Confederates to attack, and they were quite successful in this engagement. Uh, my recreation of this battle is going to be 
Well, it's going to at least mimic the bloodiness. I'll tell you that. It's definitely going to mimic the bloodiness. Um, I was a bit perplexed uh, while the battle was taking place. Um, I kind of felt like my units just didn't quite perform that, that well today. But we'll, I'll, we'll get all to that as we uh, get closer into this battle. As the cannons are deploying now and preparing to fire at only their general. It's not a whole lot to shoot at. But uh, the soldiers, as you can see, are moving forward. And if their general... Well, it's back there. You would figure at least his army is there. Somewhere in front of him, at least, right? So, here they go. The cannons. And they are preparing to fire. Solid effort. Fortunately, they didn't miss their target. And hit nothing. Um, yeah. It's just the way it goes. There's one hit here. Um, they're using not solid shot, uh, I believe. Some kind of explosive shell shot. Um, not really sure, actually. I can't remember what it's using. Here's an accidental maneuver here. Thought we were supposed to get into line permission, but not quite. And another boom. Nope, see, missed targets again. All good though. The howitzers will be able to fire at some point here. Skirmishers are almost up to the cannon line finally, and my left flank is securely walking in a nice fashion over there. As I, like I said, will continue to utilize these awesome roads. Um, again, a little bit of the traffic jamming occurring over here. I can't, I just couldn't quite keep track of everything. Uh, this army, or not army, but flank, as I said, would again utilize roads. There it is. And they will follow this road system. All the way through here. It's a position. It's really quite fun, I gotta say. So as the cannons continue to fire at long range, you gotta remember all of the ranges and units are altered in this mod here. They do have... Well... It's good for the game. I mean... I think they got something like a 270 range. So... It's pretty solid. It's nice that they can shoot to far range. The casualties are not as high still at that range, but the ability to fire at units at a farther range is good. So slowly still moving into this position, and over here, the Louisiana Tigers marching faithfully with their stripe fights. We have some regulars over here. Somewhere back here, we got lost in it. More regulars, and it is cool. Between the three cores, you do get quite a few units. Um, what do we got here? Ah, Stonewall Brigade. That's a mighty fine brigade, if I don't say so myself. And the last one over here are some more Louisiana Tigers. Apparently, they were taking on the left and the right flank. Those mighty bastards. All right. In my army to go through a few, or maybe all, by the time we get to the fighting. We just had some skirmishers, and now shooting over the heads. Take it easy, lads. But still not seeing. Oh, there was a death. There was a mighty death out there. Not seeing the explosiveness yet, but. Some regulars, and what do we got here? A Texas Brigade! And we have over here, Barksdale's Brigade, Amistad's Brigade, hello Amistad. Um, the Georgia Volunteer Infantry, the 24th, Regulars, and who else was in there? Amistad's, Barksdale's, oh, Kemper's, and Kershaw's, and Law's Brigade. Yes, so it is kind of fun to have all of those. Um, Unfortunately, most of those guys actually commanded the regiments, but that's alright. That's alright. Now, my skirmishers are moving up, as you can see. Uh, I can actually hit spacebar and show you the deployment zone. It will be here. Um, I was going to show you the range, but apparently that's no so good. I can't select the unit. But we are getting into position. As you can see, the AI has... There's the shrapnels. Dropping all kinds of bits of metal over their head. 
All right, so the AI has actually prepared itself quite nicely. A nice long line. Little Brigade. Ah, uh, yes. The fine hats. Alright, Iron Brigade with their black hats. Not the black hats. Different brigade. Right? They have tall hats, I guess. Yeah, a couple of brigade. The skirmishers. Another color. Ooh. Lucky sons of bitches, a lot of them right there. Woohoo! Incoming! And I do believe we have contact over here. Oh uh, yes, Louisiana Tigers have opened fire. And now they're shooting their own men in the back. I did not see this at all when I was uh, doing it. Those idiots. I mean, what the hell? Alright. Red Gear's here. Oh, you're about to open fire. There it is, the engagement on the far left, pretty neat, over here my skirmishers. Is that not epically loud or what? I mean, just epically loud. Meanwhile, I can try to click these guys here, but I can't. The howitzer should be firing. Ah oh, yes, they're loading, preparing. The general's here. Alright, troops have now started marching forward. They're a little bit more disorganized, I would say. I realized I needed to get them up into the fight. And so forward they go any which way. The road's no longer being... Explosions happening all around my skirmishers. Time to fall back, boys. The job to hold them off, I think, is almost accomplished. That was the goal to get my units in position. The first routing unit, Vermont, Vermont Brigade there, not holding on. Meanwhile here, just slow it down. Look at this whole side of line, all reloading. There's a few shots ringing off across the way. This is pretty close range here, gotta say. Oh, someone just got clipped. Oh, another one got clipped. Oh, going down their accuracy, boys. Oh, that one just got hit just as I moved the camera. I guess they uh, are not willing to stand here and fight. That is too bad. Meanwhile, farther to the right again, we'll see my guys. Oh, explosion right there in the face. Right over here. Raining down on the boys' heads here. Skirmishers are back into firing. Got to hold them off for a little bit longer so I can get my guys into position. I'm starting to double quick, quite a few of them I believe. In position lads. There they go. The skirmishers have, holy crap that horn was loud. The skirmishers have done their job. The line is in position. Cannonball is flying overhead. And this one lone regiment has to hold. Well, another one goes off to the right flank. Oh boy, is it that double quick? Extend our lines, dammit! Extend our lines! And more units as they start flooding out. And again, the road system comes into play. Here we are again, taking the road to go behind our own cannons and prepare to support on my own left flank, the center of the line. This militia, our skirmishers, will not hold that militia. Ah. The general is under attack as the bullets come flying by over here. Dangerous. Dangerous. Brooklyn here. Fortune Brooklyn. Finally taking some hits there. <laughs> wow. That was a lot of firing right there. Oh, there goes another line. Not enough damage being dealt. So here, I really thought, oh, here's, I'm doing good. I've got their flank. They're all kind of bunching up right now. This shouldn't be so bad. I should just have to extend my line. Here it comes. 
out again to support and really push them in. These guys can support the middle. I'll start extending my line this way. And then I can move my skirmishers again since uh, their ability to hold this area will not be great if I get melee attack. Or even a long, a long, long engagement. Accidental fire here, totally we should have maintained. But uh, there we go, turn them off. Over on the left, as you can see, the Confederates here are doing a much better job. They have less to deal with. I took on the majority of the army, but I thought my line was going to be in a good position. I got cannon support, so I felt if I could hold, then my left flank would then be able to come sweep across and hit them in the back. So my line expands. Cannon rounds hitting way too close. We're taking casualties here though in the middle. Over here. Long range volley. Looks like I should have pushed both of these lines in. Here I am again, sending another unit out here to extend, figuring I think the right flank attack should work, provided the cannons should really be able to do some serious damage here, but it looks like a lot of my rounds are getting right in front of my head. My morale has got to be damaged at that point. And here I am extending, more so. And there it is. You can hear him. The charge. The mighty Union charge is flooding in. Bayonets have been fixed. Nope. Oh. It has not been fixed. Oh! Solid. Solid getting shot. Point blank shooting. Taking heavy casualties. And they still charge. They still manage to charge. The general here taking pistol shots. My right flank. Now I'm really happy that I sent this unit out here. I should be able to support the middle. More charging. All across my line. The Union charge. I'm crisscrossed over here. Point and we break. We've managed to break one of the units. I'm feeling the support from my my far left flank as it moves in. It moves quite quickly. And then, what has happened? The center has broken. I'm, I'm attempting to send the general to support the units with morale, and the center breaks and gets away. Shattered. Armistead's brigade is shattered. The right flank now. Good thing I sent these other units over here, figuring, whew, now we should at least have some, some support over here. The general manages to make it past the Union line, the Iron Brigade of the Fighting cannon shot blasts right into the line. They don't care. They charge Kemper's Brigade. No cares were given that cannons were firing completely at their back. The canister shot must be getting loaded now. Ripping holes through their lines right in front of me. The casualties are going. Higher and higher as the men pour into the melee fight. The battle rages on harshly over here in the forest. Clearing out. The clearing to the clearing over here. My left is still working hard to get into position. As courier after courier gets sent to the other general of the second corps, you must send your men faster than double quick. I have lost the center. We have all but lost the battlefield if you do not move quicker. Things are not looking so fantastic for first score. Second score still raging on them. Both brigades moving to get a better position. As their flank is being threatened. Right behind us, the Iron Brigade wins this one. Still firing canister shot. Trying to put holes into the 
line wherever possible. That line is too thin. I'm pretty sure move to switch to this line is gonna come. This one line holding off against this two. This one's only well this one is that's out of control. More canister shot. Oh my line is completely wrecked. Just wrecked. All I have are the cannons and then the two far right flanks holding. My general over here trying to support the second corps. And this is Lost Brigade here tries to form up. Look at this close range fire. Firing round after round. Oh, just everywhere. Our Faces men are running. black from the powder. And there it is. The cannons being routed off the field. With only one maneuver left, the cannons must return. Present that bitchin' and fire, lads. Oh! And they still do not care. Oh! Still. What the fuck's the here? Shaking, but still charging. Canister shot. Four people lines. Ripping through. They charge. Iron Brigade. Standing up to his name. Brown. The rest of my artillery. Seeing dire need to support myself over here, the boys turn. Trying desperately to protect himself. Cannons are gone. And then that happens. <laughs>